keys for a while. <laughs> Well, Drew, I haven't got a chance to drive this car yet. I've really been looking forward to this. I've had to walk by it every day for the last year and a half. And now I get to finally drive it. It's a good looking car. It is a good looking like car. I like it a lot. The last time that I sat in this very seat was uh, almost the last time I ever rode in any seat. So here I am back in a different car, but still a ZR1. And that's been just a just about a year ago, not just yeah. a little over a year ago has, that yeah. that happened, and, and uh, yeah. So, uh, well, we're not going to let that happen again today, okay? Okay. All right. So, that's a pretty throaty noise. I yeah, like that. I like that sound a lot. This is a ZR1, so explain to me what the ZR1 is. Um, it's really just like the most powerful Corvette that they make in a lineup. So this would be the C7 ZR1. So it's uh, it's just the fastest version of the C7 that they had made. And obviously they've made ZR1s in the past. I think we had that poster in our office and it was like 84 sometime in the 80s I think was the first AR1 and then two since then but anyway this is the newest AR1 that they are making currently so and this is 755 horsepower yeah, I believe so yes so what's that produce somewhere over 200 miles per hour top speed I'm assuming yeah probably so it was like two have to look at the exact number but it was yeah it was well over Probably 200 10, 10 to 15 somewhere in there somewhere in there i think i remember seeing this somewhere so so i understand from uh ward and you and some of those that have driven this car before this is easy to get away from you yeah so. it is it's got super slick tires when we were driving it back it was like sleeting outside and it was sliding all over the road that day. It's a terrible day to do it, but we did it. But it had to be done. Yeah. It just comes with the territory. I'm gonna drive around in town driving a little bit, then we'll get on the highway. So we'll see how it maneuvers in city traffic and things like that. A performance car like this. Okay. I have to figure out how to work the air conditioning, but you know, I'm getting a little warm. What's the color of this? Like ember orange? What's the color of this? I don't remember what it's called. Um, this is like Sebring. That's right. It's a special color. It's like Sebring something orange, I think, or just Sebring orange, uh, racing orange maybe. Yeah. This wasn't one of the standard colors. So. No, this was an expensive color. This is the most expensive color they made anyway for this car. So I'll try to scratch it. Yeah, don't do that. I double checked and rechecked and double checked again. Make sure that little sign in front of it at the museum was gone <laughs> before I pulled the car out. I always have this God. fear of hitting one of those. Who would who would do that? I don't know. I know somebody that has a little problem with that every now and then. It was one time. Uh, one time. One time. time yeah. I was moving a car, scratched just the edge barely it was very noticeable though and very traumatic we uh i learned my lesson that day so that'll be the last time that it ever happens yeah, the last time. 
It's only got 200 miles on it since you bought it. Yeah. Which, Which was roughly 200 miles from Kansas City back to here, I think. So, yeah. It's been in YouTube videos before. Like, Jeff drove it in, uh, like, our moving supercars video. Took it, like, to the gas station that day. We had the orange Lamborghini and the orange ZR1. So, it was... That was pretty fun. A great pickup.
so well. Just out of your side mirrors. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this sounds a lot different than the other one. Yeah, not as, not as loud. Yeah, I don't think it's quite as fun as the other one. It feels a little more tame. Yeah. Like it's not going to kill you. Well, this is what? This is 495 horsepower. So yeah. A good 200 and yeah. what, 60 less than the other one. Yeah. And this. But the mirror is unique. Mirror, virtual mirror is just tough to get used to because you look at it and you want to see out of the mirror and you can kind of see through the reflection of that screen there. Well you really got to be looking on straight on otherwise yeah. you get, you can't see out of it. Now can you flip it from under the other? Yeah, so. But you probably can't see anything out the no, back. No, you can't. Okay. So lots better than I see me, huh? Yeah. You're exactly right. I do really like the dash in this a lot better. Yeah. Um, this is the design of it. The features of this car are very nice. But, like we were saying, I don't think it's... It's just not as fun as that ZR1 is. The strip of uh, buttons down the center here. The strip of climate control. Yeah. we got the seats on there. It's so thin. Yeah, it is. The thing I do like about this one, that was, I mean, the ZR1 is a great car, but I like that you can see the flare on the yeah. front fenders. To me, that's a very Corvette-esque look. Those flared front fenders. But you don't have a long hood on this. No. Because you don't see it. red stitching on this one. Yeah. Too. Looks awfully nice with the blue, I think. Some of you didn't like that choice, but turned out all right. The gear selector switches and buttons. Look, I like that. I think that's kind of... Yeah, it's pretty neat, and you, you user really friendly. have to you have to really know what you're getting into instead of accidentally pushing the button or something. This car has the sports seats, I'm assuming. Yeah. To me, they're too narrow. Um, I'm a bigger guy. But especially the hip bolsters are really tight. Uh -huh. You're thin enough that they didn't need an issue. Yeah, I don't feel much. I mean, it's really tight. I really like this dash. It's, I think it was very well done. I know some people have critical of it. Yeah. I don't know. It's something different. Yeah. It looks nice from the passenger seat. I mean, it is all directed toward the driver, but it still looks good. 
I got a square steering wheel. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. I've always been a big fan of steering wheels that are squared off. Not gonna lie. Well, not only it provides a good view, but it's yeah. comfortable. But 